So you know how yesterday we were talking about Rockstar actually handing out some pretty rare and exclusive items if you pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2. You would get a loading screen that would tell you you would not only get some in-game discounts, but also some items that couldn't be acquired any other way. Uh, which was certainly kind of unique and definitely contributed to Rockstar's promotion of their new game. Well, it turns out we have some new information on that in terms of getting more of that and ultimately how it works. So let's start with what FunMW2 posted the other day. He said, yes, the ad file is called RDR2POPTTY1. TY1 is thanks, PO is purchase order, and P2 is part two. Part 1 was $250,000 for pre-ordering Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Edition. Part 2 is a list of rewards. I wonder what's Part 3, if they're planning such a thing. This is like the guest list files, how they were listed in order. We are getting more rewards next week and maybe the week after. Also, Rockstar support is outsourced. I doubt they know anything about these rewards. The ad file was created on September 28th. Plenty of time for them to be informed. Of such rewards. So that's interesting. FunMW2 has predicted that Rockstar is going to continue doing this sort of thing over the next couple of weeks, giving out more free, rare, and exclusive items. That's kind of cool. Now, as sort of a follow up to that, we also heard from Wildbrick142, staff member on the GTA forum site. So someone asked if they could actually figure out what the guest list might be or what the next list might be for the rewards. And he said the name Fun provided isn't working. So I assume they have the random prefix they started adding onto the JSON files following the guest list storm to prevent leaks. I can try entering around 47,000 links to try and find part three when I have nothing to better do with my time, but at that point it'd just be simpler to wait until next week. He goes on to say them giving awards to those who pre-order digital is BS though. I pre-ordered the physical version. Why should I not get any bonuses? How is this any fair? Apart from discounts, they shouldn't even be giving away items unless they're planning to give them to everyone at some point. I'm not shelling out 400 bucks pre-ordering this game to get the bonus rewards for all my characters. It honestly feels greedy. So a lot of things to break down there. Number one, because of what happened with the guest list where Rockstar basically allowed us to figure out what they were going to be before they happen, now it's sort of been switched up. So it's going to be a little bit harder to find Uh, Wild Brick sounds like he's on it, but it might take a little bit. Number two, we figured out how players like this are getting the rewards and why I'm not. So I pre-ordered mine uh, physically. For new games, especially Rockstar ones, I typically like to do the physical copies. I like to see the box. I like to get the, you know, the map, all the stuff on the inside. So that's why I've not been getting these. So you only get these uh, rewards if you pre-ordered digitally which I'm sure most of you guys did, but some of you guys might not have. And then that sort of brings up the point, is any of this fair? Like, I think the discounts and bonuses are fair, but uh, Wild Brick brings up a good point with like the rare and exclusive items. They're basically locking them behind a pre-order paywall that you'll never be able to get unless you have this. So that's sort of an interesting point, and uh, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you think it's fair? Or do you think it's not fair? Now, in sort of an update to this saga, apparently FunMW2, maybe with help from Wild Brick, has actually found out what the bonuses are going to be. He tweeted out this, Next week, which I guess is going to be starting on October 8th, Grand Theft Auto Online rewards for pre-ordering RDR 2 Ultimate Edition. The Dala Dala livery for the Buckingham Akula, the Rockstar logo whiteout t-shirt, 40% off the Deluxo, 50% off the Stromberg, and 60% off of the Avenger and Avenger modifications. So the Dala Dala livery is rare. Uh, It's going to be coming out for the Buckingham Akula, which is kind of cool. In case you guys haven't seen the Dala Dala livery, it's like literally having a vehicle wrapped in $100 bills. Looks interesting, that's for sure. The Rockstar logo whiteout t-shirt is going to be very similar to the one we looked at yesterday. It'll probably just be white instead of black. And then you've got discounts on three vehicles from the Doomsday Heist, Deluxo, Stromberg, and Avenger, which I own all of them, so that doesn't really help me at all. So we know for a fact that we're going to be starting to see these sort of messages pop up in online, I would assume at the end of the current event week we have right now and at the start of the one that is about to begin. 
So I don't know. I think those are pretty normal rewards. I mean, if you're a serious collector, this is something you're going to want to jump on because like I said, that shirt and that livery for that vehicle will never be available again, making them pretty rare if you continue to play Grand Theft Auto online over the next couple weeks, next couple months, next couple years, however long you decide to get on. It is definitely going to make it pretty rare. Let's just say that. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below on a couple of things. Number one, what do you think of Rockstar sort of doing what they're doing, providing these awards and bonuses for pre-ordering the digital version of RDR2? Do you think it's fair that only the digital guys get it? And number two, do you think it's fair that they're putting items that will never be available in the game, again, available to them? And then number three, what do you think of the rewards themselves? Like the Dala Dala livery for the Akula and the new t-shirt. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.